Hey girls, so it's me, N.A. here, and today um, I was requested to do a review on these um, pads and liners, and they are all from a sample. They're the Tenna Sample Kit, and here I have the Tenna Anywhere Pad, I have the Tenna Stylish Pad, the Tenna Active Pad, and then the Tenna Active Liner. Um, because I only have one of each of these, um, I'm going to film this before I actually use them, so I'll add a clip after I finished all of these, so I can obviously show you if I like them or not. So this is the Tenna Anywhere pad now, and it looks like this, as you can see. Um, it's very, very big, and most likely I will use this as an overnight pad. Um, I feel like I'll actually really like this pad. The only thing, though, is that it doesn't have wings. But if you're planning to use this for a period pad, definitely wear it as an overnight, because I don't think anyone has a flow this heavy during the day. And you should um, change your pad every four to eight hours, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this is the Anywhere pad. Next, I have the Tennis Stylish pad, and I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, it's basically like a regular pad. Um, it has wings, which is really, really good. And I'm just so excited. I don't know why. I just feel like I'll really like this pad. Um, I did look at Walmart, and um, a pack of 14, I think, is like $7. It's a little bit pricey. But if you want them, then just try them out. And I'll tell you how I like them in the future. Next is the Tenna Active Pad. Um, please focus. Okay, it's not focusing. Oh well. Um, and this pad looks like... Give me a second. This. It doesn't have wings. I'll probably use this as a spotting pad or maybe like a light day pad. Um, yeah. I like them. I mean, it looks like I would really like it. So, I feel like it's really absorbent. And the last pad I have, well, liner actually, is the Tenna Active Liner. And this camera will not focus, I'm sorry. Um, let me just try to get it out. There we go. And it looks like this. It's a long liner, as you can see. Um, yeah. And I feel like I'll really like it because it looks really absorbent and long, which is good. I'll probably use this as a spotting liner. So, like, the last couple days of my period, because I'm on it right now, um, I'll use this. So, yeah. Bye, girl. Hey, so now I have used all of the pads up. So, first off, I used the Tenna Anywhere pad, and this pad is really, really wide, and it's actually too wide for me. Um, but I like the length. I used it as an overnight pad on kind of like my regular day. Um, it was alright, except that, um, when I kind of closed my legs up, it kind of bunched up too much. And, yeah. Um, I don't really recommend this pad that much. If you really insist on buying it, then go ahead. Um, next I have the Tenna Stylish Pad. Um, I'm sorry if this camera is not focusing. I'm sorry. But yeah, this um, is one of my favorite pads out of the whole sample. And I really like this pad because, first of all, it had wings. And then, second of all, it absorbed quite a lot. I really liked it. So, it was the length of probably, like, a regular-sized pad. So, I used it on my regular flow. And I was quite happy with this. I really liked it. So, yeah. I definitely recommend having this one, by the way. Um, next, I have the Tenna Active pad as you can see and okay let me there we go and this pad was okay except that it didn't have any wings that's the only setback for this but other than that i really liked it and then the last pad here is the tenna active liner and this was a really good liner it was nice and long and yeah it absorbed quite a lot also and yeah i used this for a slight day by the way so that is it for this video. Thank you girls for watching, and yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, and request videos. Bye!